And let me say good afternoon, and again, let me, let me thank the, um, uh, the media uh, for covering this, uh, this press conference again. Um, let me give you the count for today. You know, Houston Health Department is reporting uh, 71 uh, new cases of COVID-19, uh, bringing the total ca case count in the city of Houston to 3,046, so 71 new cases. I am pleased to report uh, that there are no additional deaths being reported uh, today. And that's, uh, so I would, I would uh, death count, uh, I don't necessarily like that phrase, theology, but the death count remains at 34. That means this is the fourth consecutive day that we are not reporting anyone passing as a result of COVID-19, uh, uh, and that's good, that's good news. Today's focus is going to be uh, how we address our vulnerable at-risk populations uh, to make sure that we don't leave anyone behind and that we're meeting all of their needs. As you know, uh, uh, as I indicated, uh, Marvin Odom, and Marvin is, is back there, is, is leading uh, this effort. This is a task force that's going to be working very closely with him. But before we get into the nuts and bolts of that task force, um, a topic that we have not specifically addressed and that's the, for people who are riding our buses and light rail, transit, uh, and making sure that the bus drivers and the operators are safe, as well as the people who are riding uh, uh, on our transit system, that they are safe. And we're going to do everything we can to assist in making sure that anybody who needs a mask uh, will be able to get a mask or a face covering when they're riding uh, Metro. Uh, it is, it is a, um, a mass over citation. We don't give citations, we give, we give masks or face coverings. And so um, the police, Metro Police, you know, if we run into someone who doesn't have a face coverings, instead of giving them a ticket or a citation, we give them a mask. And, and, and because we want, people to be, we want the people to be healthy. Now, Houston needs to, um, to wear masks in public starting on Monday to comply with the new Harris County order. And I see Dr. Kathy Flanagan over there. Uh, who is helping us out. So, you know, Kathy, Dr. Kathy Fallon, thank you uh, for being here and to comply with the new Harris County order. So you can find if you don't have a mask, but if you can't have a, uh, a um, um, but you can't have a mandate without making resources available for people to follow the rules. And I want to give masks and nice cit citations. So today uh, we are launching the Mask Up campaign to encourage all Houstonians to wear masks in public. And I've asked some of our uh, most favorite uh, recognized Houstonians to be campaign ambassadors to help uh, me and others and the task force to get out the message. And I want to give a special credit to the task force because they have helped to, uh, to get uh, these ambassadors to, uh, to agree to be a part of this program. Today we have with us via a live feed Olympic gold medalist and world champion gymnast Simone Biles, Major League Baseball World Series champion, uh, Carlos Correa, and Houston rapper, uh, the boss of all bo bosses, uh, Slim Thug. He and I have performed together on many different occasions. And uh, Sim <laughs> Simone, you are the U.S. gymnast with the most medals ever, and you have a smile that lights up the stadium <laughs> where you win over and over again. But today, you have masked up, and I want to thank you for that and for joining us today to make the announcement. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Simone, can you hear us? Oh, yes, I can hear you. Okay. I'm so proud to be a part of this campaign, so hopefully everyone out there gets to wear their mask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simone. Thank you so very, very much. And Carlos, we are missing baseball right now, but I'm thankful that you recognize the importance of massing up Carlos Correa. Thank you, guys. Um, hope everybody is uh, following this protocol. Uh, it's important that you know we all follow this uh, and practice social distancing and obviously mask up. We want baseball back. We want everybody to go back to normal. So let's do it. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Look forward to playing with you again. <laughs> and as uh, uh, Slim. Man, my brother, Acres Home, Fofo, fo, for taking yes, time today to be with us and tell us about your battle to recover from COVID-19 and why you want everyone to mask up. Uh, you know, being that I ended up being one of the people who was affected by COVID-19, I re recognize how serious it is. 
And, you know, just advice from me with, you know, when doctors don't really have no answers, the best thing you can do is just avoid the situation. So if you do have to leave the house, I would really strongly suggest that you mask up and glove up and just sanitize on a regular man and just stay safe and try to avoid the situation. And, and I just, on behalf of everyone at Metro and the public as well, I want to thank Slim Thug so very much um, for donating a thousand bottles of hand sanitizer and 300 face masks to Metro bus and rail operators and police officers. So thank you so very much. No problem, no problem. All right, so give it up to Simone, Carlos, Slim Thug. Thank you all so very much, and thank you all for joining this campaign. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you. Today's focus is about uh, the health equity response uh, to COVID-19. It is about uh, uh, making sure that we don't leave out anyone, our at-risk populations, our vulnerable communities, and we know that this particular virus has had a disproportionate impact on those communities. And as the conversation is turning more and more to opening up, we need to make sure that uh, as we move forward, that we don't leave any of these individuals behind. And to lead this effort, I've asked several of uh, my directors uh, to assist. They'll be working very closely with Marvin Odom, our Chief of Re uh, Relief and Recovery Officer, and uh, the, the directors, the head, the team leads, uh, Shannon uh, Bugs, uh, Marissa Aho, Julia Stepech, and Janice, Janice Weaver. And then I also want to acknowledge uh, that's with me today is Council Member, Council Member Evan Shabazz, representing District D. And so again, I want to thank everyone who is contributing to the Masked Up. Farouk, let me thank you. In addition to the sanitizer, I know you... More sanitizer. Is that the sanitizer? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Farouk. He's providing four big drums of sanitizer that will be in... Um, in four different stations in our, in our uh, low-income areas. Farouk, uh, thank you, Farouk, I, you know, thank you. And so um, he's providing the sanitizer, but you also said something about like the hair conditioner. And right now, my, my head probably needs the conditioner more than the sanitizer <laughs> because uh, I keep trying to brush it down and it keeps wanting to pop up. So. Um, Since you started using chi, look, it's growing. <laughs> Thank you, Farouk. You can step down. <laughs> okay, I want to thank everyone who is contributing to the Mask Up uh, campaign with donations, including Simone Biles again, Carlos Correa, and Slim Thug. I can't thank these, uh, these individuals. They are just proud Houstonians, and they continue to give over and over again. I also want to thank the, the Estonians who have stepped up to be a part of the Health Equity Response Task Force, we refer to now as HER, and uh, the logos of their organizations are on the screen behind me. I wanna thank all of these team members, uh, team leads. Uh, yes, please give it up to them. And we also want to, uh, to, uh, to acknowledge and thank the CEO of Memorial Herman uh, as well for, for their contributions. Uh, the Houston Seafood Company, Cigna, Clear Channel Outdoors, want to thank all of them. These are the subject matter experts in medicine, public health, marketing, faith, and a host of other fields that will work with city staffers to not only help to solve the immediate needs, but also help us rebuild our social systems to be more equitable. And this is the task force that will be working directly with Marvin Odom as he leads the effort on recovering for our city. The point that we simply want to make and leave with you today is that we are committed not leaving everyone, anyone behind. And the city of Houston is the most diverse city uh, in the country. And in order to make sure that we, we touch the needs, uh, it is important that this team be as diverse as possible. And we are committed to doing just that. And so as we began this conversation about reopening, we want to make sure uh, that we are touching and working very closely with all of our communities, especially those who are at risk and most vulnerable.